I'm stressed. And I'm blessed. And I'm depressed. We're the trifles. That we are. Indeed. We're Dr. Seuss characters. Yeah. Good job, Kim. Would you like to explain what we're doing today? Yes. So. Carry on. We got another game we're doing, right? So today, we're going to be pitching movies to Tariana. She's going to be the host for the day. And then in the end, she will be the one, picks which one she wants to green light. I'm really tired. Please stop. Hey guys, so I'm here, I'm your director, I'm trying to see if I can actually get y'all thoughts onto big screen, you know? Make it big, okay. popular, Hollywood, you know All what right. I'm saying? I'm gonna go first. It was about superheroes. It was about Marvel vs. DC. I already have a comic. Why don't they make a movie? Like the portals opened up to different realms, everybody crossed over. They gotta fight each other and shit. But plot twist, they were under control by... Uh, fucking, uh, what's that? I like this idea because I know what you were saying. I never watched the movies before. I don't really be watching movies like that. I'm not even gonna lie. I'd be fucking sleep or some shit. It would be a good idea because I know a lot of people would like that. It would keep people into, but continue. We got too many superhero movies. This shit is ass. I ain't never heard a worse fucking idea. He's just trying to be a fucking cash cow. He's trying to cow in on other fucking people's ideas. He don't even own the rights to Marvel. Did this motherfucker look like Stan Lee? Is he dead? No, you not fucking dead, bitch. Pick a damn struggle. Fuck. Cut yourself. Do not cut yourself. Put the suicide hotline. I got it on my ID. No, no, not. Who call it? Put it on the video, like. Hey, what the <laughs> Add music in the background. You're feeling depressed. Call this number. Bitch ass nigga. Oh. Man, not fucking kill yourself. You gonna go to hell. What if they don't yeah. answer? <laughs> I mean, you really not important. Not anyway. The sense of what you're talking about, I can understand that. Good guys, good guys. All right, all right, it's my turn. It's my turn, all right? Get this, okay? Fuck it. My movie is about Snoop Dogg going to meet the Easter Bunny. In this mystical universe, Santa Claus is a great demon who has been sent by the aliens to control our minds. And whenever he gives kids presents, he makes them hate Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg travels to the mystical lands of Umari and he sucks the Easter Bunny off in order to get magical weed to defeat Santa Claus because he loved them kids. Okay. When you started, it immediately just went into the trash because you just said fucking. You said Snoop Dogg, which caught my interest. Snoop Dogg is a, is a Dogg. impeccable character. We need him in our lives. Easter Bunny. I don't know what type of Easter Bunny, but okay. He's a rapper. Let me finish. But then I heard Santa Claus and all bunch of other stuff and all this stuff. We had mystical, magical. Maybe we could try to put this out as a kids show, make it family friendly so everybody can watch it, get more views in. You said stuff about sucking the Easter Bunny off, which completely destroyed the kids' idea. Well, no, 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 no. I just meant, I meant to say pissing the Easter Bunny off because Snoop Dogg just ate all of his edibles. He got and ate and ate them all. But the kids don't know they're edibles. They think it's just candy. We're marketing candy, really. We can come out with Snoop Dogg Easter Bunny candy. What was the ending? Snoop Dogg destroys the demon Santa Claus in the end and becomes a mystical creature who delivers presents every Christmas. What happens to Santa Claus? I forgot about the Santa no. Claus and the aliens. He just, he felt bad for all the orphans who weren't going to get presents, so he decided to still bring them. They weren't going to get presents anyway. Orphans don't get presents. You have to pay Santa Claus. He only brings presents to midgets, Jews, and orphans. Look, you don't know how this universe works, okay? This is a this is a cinematic masterpiece, okay? A lot goes into the lore, into the story, Kane, okay? Yes, I'm I have writers upon writers. I have writers upon writers. I'm trying to support you. I'm trying to give you a little touch of the bliss. It's the real world. You bliss, what you want to say? It's the real world. Nobody's listening to you. Hey. I am here. 
Okay. Okay. I think Kane idea will appeal more to the audience, which thus far makes him the winner. This shit is rigged as fuck. No, it's not. This, this is my shit honest, genuine opinion. Because if you think about it, and you think about man, the statistics of the you video, slot, and the bro, movie's bro, going bro, up, because man, you let people nah, watch the movies. Nah, the people watch the movies, so all. they see a collab this going on. This man not even dead. Movie, they don't want to watch at the night. Tell her, nobody wants to watch Snoop Dogg suck a dick. Snoop Dogg wouldn't take a role of him sucking a dick. I'm not gonna suck no dick. You King. said he was sucking the fucking dick. Yeah, you can't just change up your story. It man. wasn't. I'm fucking you gotta made have a shit straight. You're gonna come on to my platform and come to me as a director to put your movie on screen. You gotta have your shit together, mister. I'm telling you, you gotta have it through the ass. Yeah. Put some cheese on it. Ain't no meatloaf between them buns. <laughs> you calm down. Aloha. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I think he just feel he felt he felt the tables turning on him. He's usually the one yelling. I just had a schizophrenic episode. <laughs> it's okay, we know it's not real though. We love you, man. Yeah, I was going one fair here for you. What? Eating is an average kid. No, no one, one no fucking one. gets. Goddamn. Every time he's in here, oh. he is always talking shit. Oh. T-Y's and Slop, ass Cosmo and Wanda, bitch, what you wanna do? You put your mad spells on the boy, you ooh, ooh, ooh. and then we'll tag your boot. Da -da -da. Why didn't I leave the trifles when I said I would? Because, because he loves, loves us. us. That was strikingly one piece. Turn it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're the host, you gotta keep track of this, come oh, on. Oh shit, my bad. Y'all brains been marinating in the juices of giving me better answers. Hayden, you're gonna go first this round. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters, right? His baby mama went down to the superstore, right? And she trying to buy herself some grapes. Nice average little day, trying to buy herself some grapes. A woman like grapes. But then, somebody shoots her in the back of the head. Consider her bubbles ruptured. So, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He's coming out of Kimi's corner. He's actually hanging from the ceiling right now. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He get really mad. Cause hey man, you just shot my fucking baby mom. Who got babies with that woman? He seeks out the killer. Come to find, kill it. What do you think? Oh but then, God. when the Stay Puft Marshmallow goes to kill Woody Woodpecker, he cuts off Woody Woodpecker's head. But it wasn't really Woody 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 Woody. It was Kanye West. Was and then it ends Kanye in a cliffhanger, West? and there's a part two. So what I'm getting at, uh, this is lightweight John Wick. So what I'm getting at is, shut the fuck up, Kane. It's not your turn yet. I think, I don't know what to think, but I can see it kind of working. We can make it work. We can make it work to where it's going to really work to where it's gonna be really good and people will enjoy our entertainment and we'll have the gore, everything, with the shot in the head. It's gonna be 18 plus or whatever the fuck it is, rated R and whatever the who and whatever the shit. But think about all the big names who could be attached to Rihanna. I mean, it's a movie with Kanye West. Everybody loves Kanye West. Don't look at me rock. like that, Kimi. My pitch is going to be, so they already made a documentary about a man that changed millions of lives. Uh, you know how they have the Tupac movie and the Biggie movie? My approach would be to make a movie like that as a biography about X. From when he was little to getting arrested, all the way to him dying. It's not as good as mine, but it's a pretty good idea. That would be a very good idea, I'm not gonna lie, but. Who is this better, Terry? Chill, it's just about. It's, I'm not gonna lie, Kate. That shit was trash. I didn't like it at all. I don't think it would work. Yeah, slop. Tariana, you have a really good, good, you do a really good job at rambling on when other people are talking. <laughs> That's my like, job as the hostess of doing, this episode. You, I think this movie is good because I really enjoy the idea of this persuasion <laughs> that I am going to bring to the directorial debut. All right. I love you, Gentleman Kane here. He's going yeah. to be going first, you know? First. Why are you so upset, Slop? What's going on, man? Upset? Hey, yeah, man. you seem you seem you seem a little under the weather. You seem a little you seem a little slow. You seem a little scared. Hey, stress. Hey. I think you're just spreading stress hey, like a coffee condiment. So that's why espresso's a little Bruh. depressed because you're spreading up is his melted to the seat. Well, Cappuccino. And the couch is the creamer. Oh, the cream. Like I was saying, like a multiverse kind of movie. But there's one main character, you know, who's trapped. 
and his like his cells in other dimensions attempt to save them but they alter the time it looks like he's about to you know die the power of all the realms comes saves him gives him enough power he beats the final battle man that movie be boring as fuck you got me falling asleep just talking about that bullshit it would say go on with your damn shit so fucking aggressive jesus huh. I apologize. This is gonna be a fan favorite movie for everybody who sees it. Kimi's Corner, the movie. Think about it. We see our main protagonist, Kimi, finally leave the corner. Then, at the end, find retribution for his actions and return to the corner. It will be a love story about a dog. Best friend, dog, love. Dog. The dogs. Go. Put it. He oh. fought! He fought! Love. But then, along the way, he loses that friend in the dog. And the dog has to travel back to the galaxy of Quasar. And in the galaxy of Quasar, they have cartoon monkeys. Okay, skip the Quasar. What's the ending? Kimi says, you know what? Fuck them fucking dogs and Quasar. And them but cartoon. Kimi died. Because you said he no, died. No, his dog died. Oh, the dog died? Yes, and went to Quasar after it died. You're not listening to shit about Quasar because you want to no, fucking rush you, through you this bullshit. Me. You want to rush through this bullshit. Oh, continue! So, continue. Kimi says, you know what? Fuck them damn dogs and Quasar. I'm going to go back to where my roots are at. Back in Kimi's corner. And he'll come back to where he belongs in the corner. So it's just some John Wick shit in here. Where John did this Wick John Wick bullshit again. come from? Because his dog fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fucking talk! Goddamn. Shit! Talk. talk! You don't know that the dog dies. If you would have listened to the bullshit about Quasar when you was cutting me off once again, you would have found out that you don't see the dog directly die. Kimi doesn't even know the dog dies. We just see his adventures in Quasar, and that alludes that no, that alludes to him being dead. Y'all some bitch ass life. bitches. Penguins. Power of the nine realms, nigga. Hayden, I don't believe in the potential of yours. Because I'm not going to lie. Man, fuck y'all bitches. On. Fuck y'all bitches. On. I could I barely understand what you were saying. Bitches. Kill Hayden. yourself. Both of y'all disappear. Never come back. Please. Fuck. I don't even know why I fucking need y'all here anymore. What the? Guys? 